Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is B. Wolf, an amazing, I got, we'll call it a graphic novel that is out this week. I mean, this is, this blew me away. Uh, it's the only thing I can describe, uh, best way to describe it. So it's by Zach Wienersmith, art by, I'm going to go Boulet, B-O-U-L-E-T, Boulet, published by First Second. Uh, so this is a riff on the classic Beowulf. Um, you know, many of us probably had to read it in maybe high school or college. Uh, and yeah, this is just really an updated version. It uh, involves a bunch of kids and their neighbor Grindel, the evil Mr. Grindel, who with a touch makes kids serious. So um, they go from their kid-like partying in their treehouse to being all serious due to Mr. Grindel. Mr. Crindle named that because his father was Mr. Crindle and his mom was Mrs. Crindle, and that's how names work. Uh, it's this is wonderful. I mean, it's probably it's got to be twenty something years, twenty over over twenty years since I've read Beowulf. Um, I vaguely just remember uh, you know a hero going and fighting a monster, and that's about what I remember. Uh, so this is this is been interesting diving back into it. Uh, one partially because I don't remember the original story, so. Yeah, uh, but the other is it's done. I th it done. I think in a lot of how the like the original translation worked. I mean, it, it don't think we can read, or I know I can't read the original uh, uh, language it was in. It kind of seems to be gibberish to me. And how do I know that? Because in the back of the book, it gives examples of that. Um, but the story is wonderful. I mean, it's a bunch of kids fighting a monster. Um, the art is amazing. It is beyond amazing. I want to buy some of this art myself. It's I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it's just gorgeous to look at. Really, really impressive uh, to just extremes. To really, really massive extremes. Um, as you can see, I, I kind of like him and Hobb about calling this a, a graphic novel. I mean, it is. You can also maybe call it a picture book if you want to label it as a picture book. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of a kids version of Beowulf um, the writing is really interesting and you probably read some of the words here uh, but the art is just jaw-dropping uh, and I mean the story itself is really really fun um, but yeah this is this has been maybe the surprise of the week for me just really cool art really cool writing and then we got stuff in the back uh, just start just talking about the original uh, the original Beowulf uh, and how some of the like work into this was, and then um, talks about the old English. And when I said like, you know, obviously this isn't the original old English because here's how Beowulf starts in the old English. I, I'm gonna go wait, we Gardena in Girdigum Posidingum Prim Gifrenun. Yeah, I'm I'm not even gonna butcher this anymore. Um, yeah, this it's just good. Uh, the other is, this isn't the full Beowulf. Beowulf is, is pretty massive. This is like a third, like one third of probably the overall story. But you get the general sense of what's going on. Um, for those who want to know, the dust jacket is really cool. You can see that cover. But if you take that off, you also get this, which is pretty amazing unto itself. So um, overall, like packaging's fantastic on this. Uh, the art is amazing. The story is obviously a classic. Uh, I just, I can't recommend this enough for so many reasons. Uh, I would not be shocked if this is on best of lists by the end of the year. Um, it should be. It absolutely should be. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Go get this out now in shops. We got a link beneath this video. Put it in your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shot, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links so we can get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site. And speaking of support, I want to thank for a second for hooking us up with the review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into graphic novels and you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, all at Graphic Policy. So until next time. Keep reading those comics. Keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.